It is the year 784. Offa, King of Mercia, is at his court in his capital, Tamworth. When Offa took the throne of Mercia in 757, he was little more than a warlord, but has made Mercia dominant by engaging in very aggressive, warlike behaviour. Offa controls the island of Britain as far as Wales, across East Anglia, down through Kent, and borders Wessex. Not too long after his death, his family will unite with the Wessex royal family from whence Alfred the Great springs and really gets the English project underway in the teeth of horrid Scandinavians. In 784, Offa has his hands full maintaining his dominant position. His men are very loyal since he is a success. Offa is often attended by his primary advisor, Stickwolf, who operates as his chief of staff. All their dialogue is in the Anglo-Saxon language of the time, which translates easily into English. <clears throat> and uh, so it's all kicking off in Kent again, I'm afraid. Oh, blast it! Nothing but trouble in Kent. It all goes back to the bloody youths. How many of them? Oh, not many. Uh, the usual. It's just that they never stop. If those nasty people across the channel get wind of what they're up to, we may start getting bigger trouble. So, man, I ask you, the Carolingian Empire, who do these imbeciles think they are, eh? Right, we'll put a stop to this once and for all. Oh, tell these sisters to take 300 of the best, get down to Canterbury and cut Edmund into little pieces. I want every single piece brought back here and reassembled. It'll give Kenethrith and the kids a laugh anyway. Tell him lots of murder and pillage. But make it nippy. I want him back here by you. Yeah, right you are, boss. By you. Yeah. Oh, and there are rumblings in East Anglia. They've been talking to those idiots from Norway. Easting Anglian inbred plum cakes. All right, do this. Find someone polite to go over there to Rendlesham and tell well, who's king over there this week. Ah, um, Ethelbert, I think. Oh, him, oh God, I could crap in my hands and applaud. Right, have him told politely that civilized people do not talk to Norwegians. To even think about talking to Norwegians, they will be invited to Tamworth, where they personally will boil their own children alive to make a tasty meal for Offer and his mates. Mm, reckon he'll understand? Top banana, boss. Boiled alive? I think he'll probably understand. Anything else? Um, yes. Well, I was really hoping this wouldn't happen, but... What? It's the Welsh. Again? They never give up. Again? Again? We really thought we had them sorted out, but they never seem to give up. What in hell do they actually want? Nobody even knows. Nobody understands a word they say. I listen to them. And it sounds like they all have a bad cough. And if they ever calm down, all they do is sing. They got some nice tunes, but on the whole, a damn nuisance. Right, how many of them? Well, it's, it's hard to tell. A lot of the time you can't tell the difference between the Welsh and the sheep. And there are blinking thousands of sheep. <laughs> Lots of the boys swear they interbreed with the sheep, but I think that's just a bit of locker room talk. <laughs> oh, soldiers, you know. Oh, I don't know, really, but the whole thing's a pain in the bum for us. They're forever nicking our sheep, as if they haven't got more than enough of the damn things already. I'm going to have to think about this. Your Grace my lord Stitwell. With Offa are his family, headed by his wife of many years, Kenethrith, together with their children. Kenethrith is not popular amongst Offa's staff, but is politely tolerated as keeping Offa happy 
brings success to all. Let's break there, Wolfie. Send out the nuts, sort out the nutters in East Anglia, and we'll meet same time here tomorrow to decide about the nutters in Aberystwyth. Have a chat with the other army boys, see what they think. Righty ho, boss. Your Majesty. Oh, squirrel, how happy am I to see you? That's nice, Tarzan. How did it go? Oh, jolly well, just as you predicted. He's sending the A-team down to Kent and they will bring back a jigsaw for the children. And we're getting away with the expenses for just one chap to go to East Anglia to explain how undesirable Norwegians are. I did it pretty much word for word, just as you said. Just like we practised. Well done, Tarzan. <laughs> uh, there's really only one fly in the ointment. Which is? The Welsh. <sighs> really? That's not a fly in ointment. That's a, a... Tarzan, you know I don't like swearing, but that's bloody infuriating. Well, we're all a bit cross about it. Wolfie says... I wish you wouldn't call him that. It makes him sound like a puppy. He's a scheming, bloodthirsty snake who'll turn on you the minute the wind changes. Do you think so? We were at school together. I've always called him Wolfie. And before he called me boss, he used to... I don't care. What have you done about it? What has he done about it? Well, he's going to have a chat with some of the army boys and... Well, we'll see, eh? You know exactly what that lot will suggest, with Stitwolf's conniving support. It'll be a massive excursion for those uncontrollable bully boys. It'll take months and cost a fortune. Have you ever seen Wales? Well, not exactly seen. Well, I have. I spent a miserable weekend in Shrewsbury once, and you could just see it. I wouldn't put a groat on that army's chances of success. They'll spend months getting lost at foggy valleys being nibbled by sheep. Do you know about the sheep? Oh, yes. Wolfie says. Oh, if that boy says it, we can disregard it. We're going to have to think of an alternative. And it'll have to be an alternative that will work. Go and get me some bread to help me think. <laughs> We'll build a dike. <laughs> Sorry, Squirrel. A what? A dike. They have them in that frightful wet country that the Frisians come from. They use them to keep the water out. We'll use them to keep the Welsh out. Same principle. Um, how would it work? It's simple. Get me a map. A what? God help me. Look. Suppose you are Offa, King of Mercia, presiding over your realm. Well, I am. Now suppose I am Cadatlac Brockvile, King of Powys, presiding over my muddy, impoverished patch. Um... Now suppose that between us lies a mighty earthwork that is, say, three yards high. How, then, would I sneak into your territory to steal your sheep and interfere with your women? Well, you couldn't. <laughs> well, there you are, then. That's what we'll build, from Chepstow to Prestatin. It's called a dyke. No, um, I'm not sure the army will be pleased to learn that they're building a dyke. Well, get the peasants to build it. I don't imagine they'd be well pleased, either. I'm sure they'd rather build a dike than be dead. You can put the army in charge of that decision. They'll enjoy that. Better still, get the Welsh peasants to build it. No need to speak their language. The army have some very persuasive tactics, I understand. Hmm. The more I think about this, the more I like it. It will need careful handling, 
We'll need to rehearse how you'll tell them. Squirrel, look. We'll put a few good speeches together. As long as we can answer their questions, it'll work as usual. Oh, Squirrel, I think... Don't worry. I'll do the thinking. You'll need to do the talking, but I'll tell you what to say. You're good at that. But, but... Good boy, Tarzan. Let me go away and do some thinking. I have an appointment at the hairdressers with some of my ladies. Squirrel. What now? Squirrel. I think. Well, I don't think. Don't worry. Don't think. Leave that to me. I don't think I'm really cut out for this job. Now, Tarzan, we've talked about this before. Mm. You're king of the Mercians. You're soon going to be king of all the Angles. Mm. King of Angleland. No more Utes, no more Norwegians, and after this, no more Welsh. <laughs> there will be history books written about the mighty offer. The dyke will be a splendid memorial to you. Sometimes I wonder if it might be better not to be remembered. Or sometimes I wonder if it might be better to be remembered as a man who liked to play with his children. Squirrel, I don't like violence. I don't want to cut other kings to pieces or boil their babies. I don't like swearing. I know it's how you make an army work, but it's all so uncouth. Would we want the children to grow up speaking like that? Some days, I just want to play football. At school, Wolfie and I played football together every day. Now I'm lying to him all the time, pretending I think all Jutes and Norwegians are stupid brutes. But I don't think that. I met some very jolly Norwegians. Maybe he is a snake, but I'd be happier if he was my friend. Now, now, Tarzan. We'll make sure you're remembered as the friendliest king ever who was jolly good at football. When we've sorted out the Welsh, we can all relax. Let's go on holiday to the seaside with the children. Meanwhile, I'm your friend, aren't I? I can be a better friend to you than Wolfie ever could be. I'll tell you what, I'll have a think about the dyke. Mm. Then perhaps we can go and make a terrible mess in the bedroom, like we did before we were married. I'll get some beer and bread sent up from the kitchen. And a goat. Squirrel, you're the best queen a king could ever wish for. And you, Tarzan, are quite the best king a girl could want. Now, I'm off to plan the dyke at the hairdressers with the ladies. Then I'll pop back, we'll practice your lines, and then we'll go up to the bedroom and play some games with the goat and each other. 